Nichols to pick up five watermelons. <laughs> I'm right behind you, Diesel. Here we are. Five watermelons ready to go to the beach. But, Diesel, there's only four watermelons here, not five. Of course there's five, Bruno. Look! One, two, three, four, five... Wait, what? There's only four watermelons? That's what I said. Where did it go? We have to deliver them to the beach before lunchtime. They're for the beachgoers' healthy afternoon snack. Not here. <gasps> Not there either. Uh, Diesel, you might want to look at this. Uh, Bruno, I'm busy looking for the missing watermelon. Well, you should be looking for two missing watermelons. What? Now there's only three watermelons left? But where are they disappearing to? I don't know, Bruno. <gasps> it's a mystery. And the perfect case for two brilliant detectives. Do you mean Detective Bruno and Inspector Diesel? That's right, Bruno. <laughs> Detective Bruno, at your service. The, the mystery, mystery of, of the, the missing, missing watermelons. watermelons. Okay, let's search for clues. Can we go more slowly, please, Inspector Diesel? But if we go fast, we'll find the missing watermelons more quickly. But going slow will really help us find some clues. You're right, Detective Bruno. Okay, slowing us down now, Inspector Diesel. Aha! Uh -huh. Wait, a clue! Where? What is it? What do you see? An eyewitness? A suspect? Someone carrying two watermelons? <laughs> no, I can smell watermelons. Huh? Oh, I see. Okay, let's keep going, Inspector Diesel, but really slowly. Are you sure you can smell watermelons, Bruno? I can't smell anything. Yes, Diesel, I can. And we're getting closer. And closer. Look! Bits of watermelon everywhere. Brilliant, Detective Bruno. You were right. Going slow really helped us find some clues. I know. So someone or something has been eating the watermelons. Dum, dum, dum. But who? Look, there, another clue. <gasps> A footprint. And it's right next to the half-eaten watermelon. Good work, Detective Bruno. Thank you, Inspector Diesel. Now we just need to find who the footprint belongs to. And then we'll know who's been taking the watermelons. Come on, Detective Bruno. Let's solve this mystery. What or who would make a footprint like this? Could it belong to a chicken? Ah! I don't think those two footprints look the same. Do you, Detective Bruno? No, it must belong to someone else. What about Sir Topham Hat? That's me. That footprint doesn't look the same either. Hmm, we still don't know who's been taking the watermelons. You're right, Inspector Diesel. Let's look for another clue. A pig. Hmm, could it be a pig? Yes, you're right, Inspector Diesel. All the clues tell me that it was the pig.
Have you been eating our watermelons, Mr. Piggy? We solved the mystery of the missing watermelons. We did. Well done, Detective Bruno. And well done to you, Inspector Diesel. We might only have four watermelons, but we still have enough to take to the beach. Let's go.